So Dana White, uh, friends, just recently had some pretty aggressive things to say to Oscar on ESPN, calling him out, calling him a liar, and Oscar De La Hoya, uh, they literally challenged Dana White to a fight. His response uh, to Dana White calling De La Hoya a liar was, Let's get in the ring. Why not? Let's get in the ring. Three rounds. Let's do this. You cannot make this up. 49-year-old Dana White, uh, how is he going to respond to this callback? Uh, now, he was supposedly supposed to fight Tito Ortiz back in 2007. Of course, that fight ended up being canceled. Uh Oscar De La Hoya, a professional boxer, I mean, one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters probably of all time. You think he's going to get into a ring with Oscar De La Hoya? Uh, first, let's listen to what Dana White said on ESPN that had Oscar so heated. Uh, and then let's listen to Oscar's response on Luke Thomas when he literally challenges Dana White to a fight. I kid you not again but what i'm saying is but, but this Oscar's isn't a bigger situation this is about this idiot coming on this show and lying right he's a liar and and you i think you're laying out your case very well what and i'm saying is oscar seems to be saying hey mma fighters i want to promote events where you can make as much as possible and your all, model seems to be i'm going to make sure everyone's paid but i'm going to have to control labor costs at the upper end of the sport. Well, Is that right th or wrong? These guys share in the pay-per-view revenue with the UFC. So if you're a world champion, you share in the pay-per-view revenue when you fight, right? Now, there's organizations out there, Bellator, which is owned by Viacom. You got 1FC uh, out in Asia. These guys have a ton of money. And the list goes on and on. There are actually credible organizations out there other than the UFC where guys are making a lot of money and getting paid. Oscar De La Hoya is an idiot. He's a liar. Okay, and he didn't build Golden Boy. You know it. I know you're not going to smash De La Hoya and be honest about this. You're in the business. I'll you're, always be you're honest. You're not going to battle with Oscar De La Hoya. You're in the business. You have to deal with this moron. Well, you know. I'll always be honest. The, the, the reality is this: he Who came built, on ESPN. Schaefer built Golden Boy. Yes. Yeah. Well, Schaefer obviously Schaefer built Golden Boy. Schaefer was considered Oscar. the business brains behind the operation early on, for sure. Oscar did. Yeah, there's no brains behind the operation now. He, he just did uh, an interview with a kid up in, uh, named Aaron up at, at TSN in Canada. He didn't know anything about the fights. He, he went up and did a press conference. He didn't know any of the fighters' names. Not only did he not know them, he didn't even take the time to write them on a piece of paper. Right, ever the, uh, the uh, statesman. Uh, that was what he said in response wow. to, your, in to, to your request to debate. Sounds defensive here. Jeez. Your response? Let's get in the ring. <laughs> is that what? Is that how you Come want to settle on. this? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's get in the ring. Three rounds. Let's do what? this. Let's 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 do this uh, uh, under Canelo Cinco de Mayo. I'll even give you five months so you can get off the juice, and then um, and then you know we can uh, we can uh, you know get in great shape, and then we go three rounds. And uh, look, I'm I'm gonna give you what a fifty pound advantage. It's okay. I can take you on. Let's do it. So there you have it. I want to know what your guys' reaction is. Dana White calling out Oscar De La Hoya on ESPN, calling him a liar, an idiot for how Dana White's taking care of the fighters over the years and how the UFC's taking care of the fighters. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya coming out and saying, if you're really that upset, uh, if you're really you know, that angry about it. Why don't we step into the ring for three rounds? I'll give you a few months to get off the drugs. Uh, let's be real here for a minute. Oscar De La Hoya is a future Hall of Famer. He's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the history of the sport. Uh, one of the only guys uh, to, you know, have a close enough decision versus Floyd Mayweather to say that maybe he won that fight. Uh, undefeated Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, without a doubt, one of the very best. And on the other side, you have a 49-year-old fight promoter, not fighter, who taught a couple kickboxing classes in Boston years back, uh, plays a tough guy on TV, and I believe might have had a couple amateur uh, or even professional boxing matches you know, 20-some years ago. 
I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but what do you guys think? Cinco de Mayo, uh, Canelo Alvarez versus Dana White, three rounds. Uh, I'd watch it. I'd watch it on the DAZN card right underneath the Canelo Alvarez fight. Uh, give me a few beers. Let me get a few beers in to enjoy this one. But because uh, these guys are old. Uh, the, this could be worse than Chuck versus Tito. I don't know about that, but uh, what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Please hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to make sure you're notified whenever I drop a new video or go live. Uh, until next time, as always, I love you, I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses later.